What's up, what's up, what's up? We got another custom e-bike conversion here. This is the Extra Cycle Edge Runner. This is an interesting cargo bike. It's a little peculiar. It's a little different than most cargo bikes. Let's get into it. Let's find out what I did to it. What makes this bike cool? If you're new to the channel, I'm Johnny Nerdout. I make custom e-bikes. People bring me a bike. I convert it into a killer e-bike, something that's, in my opinion, far superior than something you could buy online or at a store, something that's pre-made. The best way to go is find a good bike and make it a great e-bike. With that said, let's get right into it. So this is the Extra Cycle Edge Runner. You can see it's got tiny tire hiding back there. What the heck size tire is this? 20 inch tire back hiding back there. So you can see it lowers that center of gravity. So what makes this bike better than other cargo bikes is if you're hauling children on it. It's got a low deck height. It means that center of gravity is gonna be low. If you had a big taller e-bike, a lot of times those, those decks are up here. It means you got a higher center of gravity, which means in theory, this is better for hauling heavy loads like children. So if you're looking for a kid hauler, this is the bike to go with. The Extra Cycle Edge Runner is literally designed for hauling heavy loads and especially children. See, it's got like the platforms here for them to rest their legs on. You could probably fit two or three children back here, I bet. And that small tire makes it really good for hauling heavy loads. If you've got a big giant tire, those aren't really designed for hauling heavy loads. Those smaller ones though, with the smaller spokes, that can handle heavy loads better. Up front, it's got a 26 inch wheel. It's got mechanical disc brakes on it. It's got a eight speed cassette in the rear. Okay, I think we talked enough about the bike and why I like it. Uh, let's go over what we did to it. We got a 52 volt, 17 and a half amp hour battery. It's a little over 900 watt hours, about 920 watt hours. So this battery will give this bike, depending on the load and the terrain, between 25 and 55 actual real life miles. Cause that's paired with the 750 watt Bafang BBS02 motor. It's rated at 750 watts, which makes this motor pretty much street legal in all 50 states. It peaks out at about 1500 watts. It's got some good giddy up to it. We went with a DPC 14 or the 850C display. It's a nice big color display and also has a USB out. So you can charge your phone while you're riding, things like that, it's nice. We added a Miracle mirror safety. I definitely recommend putting a mirror on your bike. I don't think I would ever ride a bike without a mirror on it. And we also added a bell to it. Another safety thing. It's just letting people know you're there and then able to see if people are behind you. We added a integrated light. So this light runs off of the battery. It's a six volt light. So all you gotta do is just press and hold the plus button on this and it'll turn that light on. We also added a, a tail light on here. Same thing, it's also wired into the, to the motor. So when you press the plus button, both lights turn on. It's nice, it's really convenient. You don't have to worry about charging a, you know, a light system. So it was a little interesting wiring, a lot of custom wiring obviously with this bike because everything's stretched out. The speedometer cable, had to elongate that. Wiring from here, had to make a lot of extensions for this. But yeah, it's a great bike. Let's go uh, check out the Johnny Nerdout test. All right, so you can see this thing <laughs> climbs hills no problem, which means this thing is gonna be able to haul kids no problem. And that's one of the re main reasons why going with a mid-drive with a cargo bike makes sense. I don't understand why they make cargo bikes with a hub motor or why you would put a hub motor on a cargo bike. Unless it's like a thousand watts or more, but then you're no longer street legal. Um, where this is totally street legal and it will out climb Probably a 2000 watt hub motor, I bet. Something that's almost three times the power this thing will outperform in its specific duty. So if you're looking to haul things, get a mid-drive and just use that gear ratio. You're able to use all these gears in back and pinpoint where you put that power. You put it in your low gear and then it's just it's like that. Top speed on this one was 30 miles an hour. So not bad. And this was on a 50% charge battery. I bet you if this was fully charged, probably might get a couple, couple two tree MPHs out of it maybe. I love these bikes. I love electric cargo bikes. That's my Achilles heel. 
just, I think like electric cargo bikes are gonna save the world. I really do, because they're car alternatives. You could hook a trailer up to this, a little kid trailer or a single wheel trailer, and you got a freaking car. Haul, literally haul the whole family on this, it's like a station wagon. Haul the whole family, put a trailer on there, and you got a giant trunk. You can go do Costco runs with the whole family with this bike. Oh, I love these bikes. Anyways, all right, thanks guys, see you later.